Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on Working Shopper. Today we're making fool. The only place I know where to get fresh fava beans is at an international store which is three hours from me, but I don't know if they sell fresh fava beans at this time of the year. So I went to the Ethiopian market and I got a pound of dried fava beans for $2.50 and I'm gonna split this and do one half Ethiopian style and one half Egyptian style. The first step is cooking the beans and seasoning it with Bebe Ray sauce, which I have here. And then seasoning it with butter sauce has shallot, garlic, ginger, cardamom, cinnamon, cumin, fenugreek, coriander, peppercorn, and bay leaf. And then the third step is seasoning with mimit and that's with chilies, cardamom, cloves, and salt. All I'm going to need is some cumin, some lemon, some olive oil, and some peppers. All right, here we have it, our full madamas, Egyptian style and Ethiopian style. I wish I had fresh beans to do this because the color, <laughs> the color looks awful. But anyway, traditionally the Ethiopian style is served with eggs. I won't be eating eggs. Um, and both of them, the e Egyptian style is served with pita and this is served with some bread as well. I'm going to top them both with uh, parsley, tomatoes, and green onions. And instead of pita, I will be using uh, some, some red skin potatoes. For the Ethiopian style, I did not put any mimita in the beans while cooking. I decided I was gonna just sort of sprinkle it on there. Just sprinkle it on afterwards. The reason I decided to do it afterwards is because the berbere is very spicy and I didn't want to have too much spice that I couldn't handle. So I just sprinkled some on. I'm going to try the Egyptian style first.
That cumin with the lemon. I love the pairing of cumin with lemon. It's delicious. So let me take a try it with this. I'm gonna try it with everything now. What I like about this is the simplicity. I'll try the Ethiopian style. Once again, I left the beans whole. That flavor really punches you. I like that I added this star anise. You can taste the cardamom. I can't taste the cinnamon though. Really good. A lot of flavor though. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the onions in there. One thing about the dried beans the outer shell of the beans is very tough. Let me see if I can show you that shell. Yeah, that outer shell there of the bean, that's pretty tough. So I cooked the beans for at least two hours. I don't remember the exact time, but I think, um, for my personal taste, I would blend the beans the next time. So both versions are delicious. The Ethiopian is packed with flavor and very spicy. The Egyptian version is lemony, but I prefer the simplicity of the, of the Egyptian version. So anyway, thank you for joining me in the video, and until next time, bye.